This comedy gets four and a half bananas out of five according to the nomorestinkymonkeys.com website. Here's an easy prediction. Zach Galifianakis will become a household name. He plays the fat, crazy, stupid brother-in-law, Alan, from the funniest movie of the year so far, The Hangover. For whatever reason, John Belushi had very few lines as Bluto in Animal House. But Zach makes up for it big time, playing the Bluto character on this road trip to hell. Excuse me, Fat Jesus. <laughs> Three best friends and Alan go to Las Vegas for a bachelor party two days before responsible Doug gets married. We know he's responsible because his father-in-law lends him his prized classic Mercedes-Benz for the trip. L.A. to Las Vegas is about a five-hour drive, so why not fly? I'm not sure, but the car plays such a pivotal role in the film that you don't bother worrying about that detail. Instead, enjoy the interplay that starts right from the opening moments when Alan tries on tuxes with Doug and reveals he's wearing only a jock strap under his rental. Or Phil, played by Wedding Crashes, Bradley Cooper, the cool guy of the group, encourages his junior high students to give him their cash for the class trip, only to fill his Vegas envelope with their money. Super nerd and super whip Stu is emasculated with every withering word from his living girlfriend, Melissa. She's mad at Stu, played by Ed Helms from The Office, for even wanting to hang out with his friends, even though he convinces her they are only going on a safe wine tasting trip to the Napa Valley. Honey, there's no strip clubs in the Napa Valley. Yeah, well Phil will find one. <laughs> Everyone's worried about Phil, but they should be worried about Alan, because he's the true party animal. In the car, he talks about how great it will be once they get to Vegas and they can count cards at the blackjack table like in Rain Man. Stu says, isn't counting cards illegal? No, Alan says, it's frowned upon, like masturbating on a plane. <laughs> Phil tells him, I think that's really illegal. Alan says, yeah, ever since 9-11. Thank you, Bin Laden. <laughs> Alan says crazy things, but does sweet things and is almost harmless. But Doug does tell Phil, I'm told we can't let him gamble or drink. Jesus, Phil says, he's like a gremlin. The concept of this movie is brilliant. Start off with driving to Vegas, see them start their night, and then poof, magically we are transported to the following morning when they are passed out in their hotel suite without a clue of how they, what happened to them or how they got a baby and a tiger in their room. Not to mention somehow losing their best friend and groom, Doug. Losing Doug is one of the best choices in the film, since he's obviously the most boring of the four. The other three take their standard characters and mix in just the right amount of crazy. They become like X-rated Hardy Boys out to solve the mystery. And what a bountiful place for forgotten craziness is Vegas, with its wedding chapels, strip clubs, gambling gangsters, and don't ask, don't tell easygoing ways. When you black out from drinking, it's a scary thing. Unless it happens to someone else, then it's very funny. As the boys unravel the clues, the jokes go deeper and funnier. I'll admit, there is a dry 20 minutes in the second half when it feels like the movie is running out of gas. But then pick, things pick up in the last 15 minutes, and the final credits are some of the funniest moments of all. I know, I know, I'm getting to it. And I didn't even mention Mike Tyson. To me, his scene with the Phil Collins song is cute, but overplayed in the commercials. His funniest moment is a scene where he laughs a loud, crazy laugh. You can see the other actors in the room are more scared of that laugh than they are of even the tiger. <laughs> So many surprises, so much fun. Tears were rolling down my face from laughter at times. People were applauding at other moments. Todd Phillips, the director, made two great movies out of the box, Road Trip and Old School. This takes the rep repressed ennui of Old School and puts it on a road trip for the ages. Todd has made a great third comedy. Remember, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. From the Fredder.